Hi guys, this is the tutorial for the Art in a Cup design edit that we did um, yesterday on August 29th. So if you were absent or if you had to leave for sports or for whatever reason, you still need to turn this assignment in. Hopefully this tutorial will sort of help you along with that. So first things first, I'm gonna share my screen and get you started. We are gonna head to Schoology and you are gonna find the Art in a Cup assignment it looks like, where is it? Looks like this. You're gonna download the element that I have there. It is cup of coffee. And remember when we do these downloads or these edits, you do have to open up the image before you download it. Um, so just open it up like this and then download it. If you just sort of double click like this and do save image as, what will happen is you're going to go ahead and save a thumbnail and that's going to be a low res image. And we don't want that. We want the high res image. So open it up first and then download it. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to go to Pixlr, P -I -X -L -R com. You're going to sign in or sign up with your LAUSD school email. That's going to allow you to have premium features. Um, and just double check. Sometimes it'll boot you out. So sign back in and you'll see that crown next to your name. And that means you're good to go. If you're watching this on YouTube, I do tend to go a little bit quick, so feel free to adjust it and um, adjust the speed. You can make it a little bit slower. Um, I do try to go slow, but sometimes I, I get speedy fast. We're going to head to Pixlr E right here. Start photo editing. You're going to go to open image and you're going to find that cup of coffee. Um, I don't care which uh, size you open it in. We're not going to print this. So if it lands on full HD, just go ahead and apply. And when you open this up, make sure you have your Navigate panel, your Layers panel, and your History panel open. Sometimes, for whatever reason, they don't open up. If that's the case for you, head over here to View, and you can click on Navigate, Layer, or History, and you can open that up on your own. Once we have this open, we're going to head back to Schoology. You're going to want to download this item as well. And it's a web piece, so you're not going to see a thumbnail, but we're going to download Starry Night. Head on back to Pixlr. There are only, um, say, five or six steps to this edit. Um, it's not terribly hard. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate this image. We're going to make a copy of it. So to do that, you can do control D on your keyboard, or you can click on this button right here. And now you'll see in our layer panel, we have two layers. We have that original photo of the coffee, coffee cup, and then we have the duplicate on top of it. So sort of imagine we have two physical pictures in our hands. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up that starry night photo. So I'm gonna go to add right here, right next to the duplicate button and go on up to image, add image. You're gonna open up Starry Night. Looks a little bit like that. And from here, we're gonna place this image over the coffee. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And whatever lands over the coffee is what we will eventually bring um, to the top as your latte art. Um, a trick for doing this to getting the part of the photo that you want to come forth in the coffee is to lower your opacity of this layer. So I have Starry Night highlighted in blue. I'm telling Pixlr that that's the layer I'm working with. And I'm going to lower the opacity of it. I'm going to click on these three dots. And I'm just going to lower it to where I can see which part of the photo would land in the coffee. Maybe you want a little bit of the sun. Maybe you want this mountain thing. This sort of allows you to see what your final result will look for, look like. I'm gonna leave it like that. And then bring your opacity back up to 100% once you get it where you want it. Uh, now we're gonna physically drag this starry night layer underneath our background copy. So I'm physically moving it underneath. So again, look at our layer panel here. Imagine this is like a hamburger. So we've got our background copy, that picture of the coffee cup, our starry night picture, and then our uh, background copy above it. And what we wanna do is we wanna take off 
a piece of this top layer to reveal the Starry Night picture underneath. The best way to do that is to click on that layer. Again, we're telling Pixlr that this is the layer we're altering, that top layer. And we're gonna use the cutout mask tool and that's the scissors icon right here. You hover over it, you'll see a little flamingo pop up. I'm gonna click on that. And when you click on that, you're gonna see that this opens up up here. And there are a couple of different options for uh, the cutout mask tool. What I have found to work at least best for this um, edit is just using the draw mask. And from here, if I click on it, it turns blue. That tells me it's activated. I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing for remove from mask. Um, so that's saying that the draw mask tool will remove the layer we wave it over. So this brush is kind of tiny at 40. So I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. And then all you have to do, again, make sure that top layer is highlighted in blue right there, which is background copy. That's the layer we're altering. I'm gonna go ahead and wave my wand over that top layer and just remove it to reveal what is underneath. Just like that. And if you look up here, um, this brush, this is the size of the brush. This is the opacity of the brush. The opacity is at 100%. That means that the brush is going to remove 100% of what we wave it over. So if you don't want that, if you want this to be a little bit more subtle, you could always lower the opacity of that brush um, so that it only removes 50% of the layer. Um, with that said, another way to sort of make it look more realistic and blend it better is to click on that starry night layer. So click right here on that layer panel. And we can lower the opacity of this layer by clicking right here on the three dots for settings. And you just sort of blend like that. And like I always say, um, there's a hundred ways to kill, to not kill a cat, but skin a cat. <laughs> so there's a lot of ways to do this. This is what I have found to be the easiest. Um, so again, you can lower the opacity to sort of blend it. Another option is to go to blend mode. And I think screen works fairly well. Again, I really do like just lowering the opacity. Um, I'm going to have you guys do this assignment, um, obviously together in class, we'll do it with Starry Night. And then you're gonna go on your own and you're gonna use the same picture of the cup of coffee, but you're gonna add an image that you like into the coffee cup. Um, so choose a school appropriate image, obviously. It could be a work of art. Um, it can be pretty much anything. But once we are done with this, all we have to do and what we do at the end of every edit is we flatten. So go to your three dots and flatten. And then we're gonna save. The save feature is right here, I'm gonna save that. Um, you can save this particular edit in low quality. I'm not printing it out. You'll do save as. And again, when you're saving um, your projects, you're gonna give it a specific file name. It's going to be the name of the project, art in a cup with your last name. Mine is Pollard, yours will not say Pollard, yours will be Art in a Cup Castro, Art in a Cup Martinez, whatever your last name is. And then you'll save and submit. And that is pretty much it. If you would like to add an effect filter over it, you can. And again, that's located right here in Filter, Effect Library. You could apply one of these to sort of go over the entire image and tie it together, but you don't have to. Um, so that's it, that's Art in a Cup. You'll do this using Starry Night. You will save it. And then you will do another one using the same coffee cup, but your own piece of art. Uh, make sure it's a high res image. You can use a, a website like Unsplash or Vecdeasy. Um, try not to make it like a very pixelated image that you screenshot, try to choose a nice uh, high res image for this. And that my friends is pretty much it. You will submit to Schoology and that's all I got. So good luck with that. Feel free to email me with any questions at all, or you can pop by. Thanks.